Well, howdy, howdy. Got the old wood stove going today. Cold, snowy day outside, so I decided to do a little Dutch oven cooking. Thought I'd make a little video about it. And just getting started. What I got in there is meatloaf, potatoes, and carrots. Have a nice fire going. It's actually very hot in here. The oven says it's 300 degrees. And I've actually checked that and it's fairly close. That's a little bit low, maybe, but not more than about 10 degrees. So, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to put the meatloaf in the oven or just cook it on top, but I'm going to start out with it on top. I might just put coals around the top, but I don't know. If I put it in the oven, I'll take the top off. This part of the oven right here is very hot right now, so it's cooking from the bottom up. And when I get a few coals, I might throw them on there and just see how she's going and decide down the road. So I'll let you know. Well, it's cooking good from the bottom because I left it on top of the stove up here. I did throw a little bit of coal on there, but it didn't do much good. So I'm going to push it in. The oven here. Get it kind of whoa, get it kind of towards the back. Leave the top off. Show you around as I stumble around. I don't know if you're familiar how a everyone is familiar kind of how a stove like this works, but flame is in here, under here, this is the firebox. It goes back towards the stovepipe back there, and a stovepipe exits the stove on top and way down on the bottom in the back. And when you close the flue, which is right here, then the fire starts traveling around the stove, goes down the side and out the bottom. The hottest part of the stove is always going to be right in the middle on top, and it's pretty damn hot. So, I'm just going to let that cook for a while like it is and we'll check it after a bit. It smells good. It was cooking a little slow in the oven so I brought it back out here and I got it on top and I'll keep the lid on and keep some of that moisture in there. You can see it's bubbling. Uh, I kind of let the fire die down a little too much. That's why it started cooking slow. The oven's gone down a little bit in temp. And maybe 50 degrees, so it's quite a bit, I guess. But it's okay. Dutch oven cooking is kind of a creative type of thing, and you don't go by timers and temperatures and set rules, that's for sure. So I'll leave it like that for a little bit and I'm going to keep the fire stoked up good and I'm going to put her back in the oven.
Oh yeah. Man, that smells good. Pretty sure I'm gonna call it done. Well, potatoes are done. Carrots are done. Now I gotta tell you, I'm not like really great a cooking meatloaf. I don't. I love meatloaf, but I don't make the best meatloaf out there. I'm more of a chili type guy, chicken and rice type guy, chicken and beans type guy. But that smells good. And what I did with that. Meatloaf for the recipe. I just got a can of Hunt's tomato stuff and it's for meatloaf. It's got meatloaf uh, seasoning in it. And I'll get it cooked. So then you put half the can in the mix and then you pour the rest on top, which I did. And then I, I don't think you're supposed to add vegetables like. I think it's supposed to take up like the whole bread loaf pan when you do it and then but I had veggies that I want to eat with it and then instead of cracker crumbs or bread crumbs or whatever else it said oatmeal I didn't have any of that oh yeah so I had like this bottom end of a bag of potato chips I crumbled that up and put it in there two eggs some other spices lemon pepper, some pizza spice, no salt because those chips had salt on it and cooked it, cooked it in that oven right there. I got that thing, this isn't like any kind of like super collectible type of a thing, Dutch oven, but I got it on eBay, shipped for 50 bucks and I have the mate to it up there that bigger one the same exact kind and I noticed you know that I noticed the lid was the same and so it's the same thing it made in the USA which is way cool and it's a good Dutch oven you know instead of being a Griswold that you got to pay 350 bucks for it you know I paid 50 and man it cooks I cooked bread in there and as you can see, I cook meatloaf in there, and I've got another Dutch oven on the inside that's not like this, but doesn't have feet. This is called like a chuck wagon Dutch oven. It has the feet on it. By the way, this stumps my footstool. So I'm calling this a success, and maybe I, after a bit, I'll have a plate of food and. We'll give you a show on that baby.